I am all alone in the northeast parts of India and I'm just here with the crickets. I have not seen a single foreign face since I've been- oh actually I saw one person today. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot of tourists coming out here. But I'm just blown away. And what I'm doing right now is I'm walking down thousands of steps to get to a small tribal village where they have living root bridges. It is a very bizarre uh, natural thing, so I thought it'd be worth uh, natural achievement. That's a, that's a good word for it. And this walk down these steps is supposed to take about two and a half hours. So it's about noon right now with breaks and everything. Hopefully I'll get there by like three. But uh, that's my day. Uh, I haven't gone all the way down yet, but I did come across a root bridge. I didn't even know this one was here. This is considered to be the longest of all the root bridges in the area. Although that might be a lie, they also said, they had a sign that said, three minutes walk only. And it took like, I don't know, 15? It's pretty impressive looking. And just like, look at that. All of that is just made out of woven roots all the way through. It looks like they put down like some planks. Okay, only two people are out on the bridges at one time. Don't throw rubbish anywhere. And <laughs> don't show any phys physical affection. It's an offense of 2,000 rupees. That's pretty serious. Wow. Yeah, that's like uh, 30 bucks if you kiss somebody on this bridge. That is amazing. It's just like the branches, the roots are just like woven together. These are like laid down obviously, but that's insane. Pretty sturdy. Oh my god. This is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, you know, it all seemed like so fine and good on paper. Come walk across the living root bridges, but in practice, this is pretty freaking scary. Because it does sway, and they are alive. <laughs> so, they are susceptible. It's not like made out of like, rebar. This thing could break. But what's stronger than Mother Nature, right? Right? Wow, okay, that's moving. Okay. Looks like there's a partial one over there. Here's a uh, cemetery. What's interesting is that this isn't the only one I've seen up here. It's been a couple, and um, apparently the people around here are Christian. This is somehow more terrifying looking than the root ones. <laughs> Yeah, how is that? This one's made out of metal, crossing this little stream here. Yep, this is much scarier than the, than the actual roots. This one's like shaking like all over the place, even though it is made out of like rebar. There's a root bridge over there. Kind of wish I was able to access that one instead, because this one is wiggly. Uh. <sighs> Alright, still walking. It's been uh, a minute <laughs> and uh, I'm coming up to another footpath for a uh, pedestrian bridge. This one seems even of better construction. I'm a little wobbly. My knees are just like shaking from all of this and I've been walking for about uh, an hour and a half all downhill and I just like hate to think about what it's going to be like coming back. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, this is uh, 
It's pretty rough, but it's also very thrilling. Whew, there are two bridges. There's this one, which is super sturdy. And then there's another one. I'm pretty sure I've had nightmares about this one. It's made out of like steel rope, but that's like it. It doesn't really have like a bottom to it. So that is uh, absolutely petrifying. It's like just a bundle of wires that you're supposed to walk across to go across that. Holy moly. Look at that. That's beautiful. Right, I am in Nangriat now, which is the main place I wanted to be going to. And here's another footbridge. This one looks very old. It's much smaller. Not like a whole lot going on here. Uh, Size-wise, but the construction's interesting because they like laid down rocks throughout it. So this is like, yeah, I don't see like a single inorganic piece of material. There's no wire, there's no anything. There's not even like any slats put down, like bamboo or anything. They just took the roots, weave them together, and laid it down with rock to make it sturdier. That's insane. And here's a good look at the tree here too. Yeah, these are uh, rubber trees. It's not crossing much, but Still, that's a pretty impressive bridge. And more importantly than this bridge, look over here. There's a mama chicken leading its chicks. I'm having a great time. This bridge is like super sturdy. Like this is not going anywhere. This one must be old. I'm guessing like as the years go on, the roots get bigger and the bridges just get stronger. So the one I was on earlier, that long one, must not have been like super old. And in the distance there, there's another one. There's a whole bunch of them around here. This is the most famous of all of the root bridges because it is a double root bridge. Not sure why there needs to be two but it is still very impressive. Check out that tree. Fruit, I mean, the fruit bridges themselves are amazing. That tree is just like insane. This place is pretty cool. Um, very off the beaten path kind of destination, but incredible. There are, there's tourism here, but it's like a trickle. It's really like nothing compared to like what you see, like the major sites that you would, you would think of. Like Taj Mahal, like forget about it. It's like completely insane. Here I'm like staying at a guest house, it's very small. And like, he's the guy owning it. It's like pretty confident. It'll probably be like full by the end, but it holds like, 10 or 15 people, you know, there's maybe like 20 people in town. You know, I, I don't see any like Western tourists around, but you see a lot of domestic ones. People are coming from, you know, uh, surrounding areas of India. This is a cool getaway for people who live in Assam or something like that. They're like a few hours away. This is a cool place to get away from the crazy city life. It's such a nice relaxed feel to it. It's really quiet. I mean, besides all the birds and bugs and stuff like that, but it's, uh, yeah, really, uh, it's a wonderful little place, and I can see this becoming, like, a big thing soon. I think right now it's like people are just finding out about it, and they're just kind of drawing in tourism here, so I think in the next, like, ten years, this will probably, like, boom. If you want to come here, now's the time, because I think, uh, right now, that tourism is a trickle, but you know, in a few years, this is going to be like a booming tourist destination. I can just kind of like feel it 
but for now I'm enjoying the serenity of just being here basically like alone and getting like all this amazing nature and these cool sights all to myself. Which, you know, having traveled around India is rare. Like usually you're fighting through like hordes of people to see uh, any of the sights. Uh, this place, you, you feel like you have the whole place to yourself.